What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show live AMA, as the kids like to say, the Ask Me Anything or the live Q&A as us old folks used to call it once upon a time. Hope everybody's well here. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. That's what this show is about. I wanted to jump on, answer any questions anyone might have really on any topic. Primarily, people want to talk about health and fitness and fat loss and supplements and thermogenics and, and anabolic steroids or whatever else there might be. Maybe business. Maybe you're building a personal business. You're trying to break into entrepreneurship. Who knows? Well, whatever it is, or you just want to hear some gossip. You want to talk about the fight scene, what's going on in the world of MMA in the UFC? Well, I can answer that too. Good to see everybody. I wanted to share with you very briefly as those questions are coming in. Boom! What is this? This is the next Dolce Diet Certification and Fitness Conference. It is coming. Bam! Become a certified Dolce Diet Nutrition Coach. Right now, go to DolceDietShop.com. A link is below this video, September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Join myself and my team and amazing folks from around the world, from all backgrounds, all interest groups, will be attending September 23rd, 24th, and 25th to become a certified Dolce Diet Coach and Nutrition Conference. And the Nutrition Conference portion of this is very important. The Fitness Conference portion is very important because we teach you how to build a business, how to build a cash flow positive business that you can carry over into any world you live in. Maybe you want to come to the DDC, get certified as a Dolce Diet Coach, learn more about fitness and nutrition and performance science, but you already have a full-time gig. Well, we will help you there also. So definitely check that out. Check out the link below as we continue on. Now, no comments. Nobody has any questions. That's okay. I have some thoughts. I just put a video out on Patty Pimblett and what he's doing to his body, to his UFC career with these 50-pound weight fluctuations. Dana White, the big boss man came in and he actually offered some thoughts. So go and listen, watch the two videos I posted today on the Patty situation. It's not good. And it's not just my humble experienced opinion. I add some science. I show some scientific studies to support what my concerns are about Patty. Michael Sunt looking jacked. Well, brother, I freaking better, right? I better 46 years old in the best shape of my life feeling absolutely incredible as I sit here right now chatting with you. I got all sorts of tech tools on the desk. So I apologize for me reaching and, and fumbling around Eric Gibson. What's up coach? Good to see you brother. Hope all is well, man. Killing the game. Summer's here. I am holding on to summer for as long as possible. I live on the Jersey shore, right? So, all the Bennies, as we call them, come down from up north, North Jersey, New York, Staten Island. They all come down. They bomb our beaches. They, they, they drink our beer. They try and date our women. And then in September, when Labor Day hits, they all go home. And we call September at the Jersey Shore local summer. Because the weather is identical to August for the first half to two-thirds of September. We get a good two, three weeks of local summer. All the cafes are empty. All the restaurants have no weights. All the beaches are just pure and pristine. And this is what we locals live for. So August 18th right now, I am gearing up for local summer. I took a few weeks off from hardcore dieting. I really was, was just crushing. I've, I've been killing it, killing it, crushing it. I took a few weeks off through mid-July until right about now. And next week, I ramp up the next phase of my whole fat loss transformation program. That's going to be a fun one. But I've timed it pretty well for local summer also. 
Um, and you guys will start seeing more of that as we go. Uh, 4T, boom. Hey, coach, I don't compete in Brazilian jiu-jitsu yet, but what would you suggest is best for recovery, for weight training and Brazilian jiu-jitsu? Well, nutrition is always first. Let's talk about the four pillars here. Number one is nutrition. Number two is sleep. Number three is stress management. Number four, well, that's exercise. Exercise is the stimulation. Everything else, nutrition, sleep, and stress management, all have to do with recovery, right? So these three are paramount to your success. Now, you have to make sure you're eating the proper calories. You have to make sure those calories contain the right nutrients. High net nutrient, healthful whole food is the way to go. I would like to see you at a baseline calorie surplus. What does that mean? It means, here's a, this is, let, let's timestamp the video right here as I break down the noob versus pro calorie equation for you guys right now. It's a great jump off point. What is the noob perspective on calories? A noob perspective on calories goes on to a calorie calculator, types in their, their age, their height, their gender, their weight, and they get a calorie allotment. If you weigh 200 pounds, it's going to tell you you need to eat about 200 or 2,000 calories per day. Effectively, it's body weight times 10, and this is a hybrid of the Harris-Benedict equation. Most people will say, well, then I need 2,000 calories per day, but I want to lose body fat. And 3,500 calories correlates to one pound of body fat. Therefore, I need to lose 3,500. I need to reduce 3,500 calories over a week to lose one pound of body fat. So what do they do? They go from 2,000 calories a day to 1,500 calories a day, creating a 500 calorie per day surplus off, off of their BMR. Oof. Your BMR is you laying in bed, not moving a single muscle. And this is where most people go wrong. They start off wrong. This is the problem. So what happens here? Before they even get out of bed, they're at a calorie deficit. 2,000 minus 500, they're at 1,500. And as soon as they get out of bed, what happens? They burn one calorie. They burn 10 calories. They burn 100 calories. They burn 1,000 calories in addition to their BMR of 2,000. So they likely burn 3,000 calories in a day. But instead of creating a 500 calorie deficit, what did they do? They created a 1500 calorie deficit. They subtracted 500 calories of food and they did not allocate 1000 calories of caloric, expend caloric expenditure through movement. Most people will spend 600 to 1000 calories per day before you do any workouts. Waking up and brushing your teeth and playing with your kids and making dinner and getting the car, and taking out the trash and going to the office and moving some boxes and back and forth, back and forth. You're likely going to burn 600 to 1,000 calories per day, the average human. And then you have some intentional workout time. You do yoga, cardio, you ride the bike, a Peloton, swing some kettlebells, go to CrossFit, MMA class, Taekwondo, um, just bro lift in the gym. You're burning an additional 500 to 1,000 calories, not allocated calories. So go back to the beginning when I said noob versus pro. A noob looks at their BMR, their basal metabolic rate. They say, oh, I need to burn, uh, I need 2,000 calories per day. I'll create a deficit on that and I'll lose weight. I'll feel great. What happens? Middle of week one, they feel like shit. End of week one, they feel horrible. Usually they wind up binging exorbitant numbers of calories, which completely impedes any fat loss. It's all the wrong food, hyper palatable food. And then they drag their ass into the next week and they try and do it again. They try and do it again. Come week three, they quit. Sound right? 
Does that sound like all the diets you've pretty much tried in the past, except for the Dolce diet? Of course, you can click the link below if you want to learn more about the Dolce diet. Click the Get Shredded link. Now, what does the pro do? Well, the pro, what do we say? We say, okay, what's your BMR? Body weight times 10, 200 pound guy, 2000 calories per day. Awesome. What's your activity like? Low, moderate, or high? We allot a calorie, 300, 600, 900, let's say for that, just for easy math. Just for your daily activities, I would be in the high. I'm a pretty active guy throughout my day. So I would go from 2,000 to 2,900. Now, how often do you train? Well, I do some fasted lists in the morning for 30 to 45 minutes and not a high intensity. So I'm probably burning, let's say, 300 calories there. Probably a little bit more. We'll just say 300. Now, my calorie expenditure is already at 1,200. And then I get crazy with the weights. Then I get crazy in the wrestling room. Then I get crazy in the boxing gym. Then I get crazy... Um, on the, the beach in the sand dunes. I get crazy. I'm burning another 600. So I'm burning 1,800 additional calories per day on top of the 2,000 calories I need. I need to eat about 3,800 calories per day then as my baseline. That's what the pro does. See, the noob doesn't do that. The noob says BMR, Times 10, or body weight times 10 equals your basal metabolic rate. Effectively, online calculators basically do that. They take the 2,000, they drop 500, they're eating 1,500 calories a day, like a high school cheerleader, where I eat more than double that, carry way more muscle, and get way more shredded than they do. New verse pro. So when I say your baseline calorie target is your BMR plus your expenditure, put that together and that's when we figure out what the deficit should be. We only want to create a 300 calorie deficit per day. We don't want to take that big swing to 500. There's no need because we want to preserve as much muscle tissue as possible. And if you take your calories too low, too quick, you will burn off muscle tissue. The slower you lose fat, the more muscle you will keep, and the longer that fat will stay off, likely it will never come back. So I will close the chapter on the Noob vs. Pro. Calorie targets here. Feel free to ask any questions on that if you'd like to. What do you recommend to promote mental, mental health? I, I recommend exercise. Is magic. Exercise is magic. Exercise creates purpose. Exercise allows you to set and achieve goals, which boosts confidence, your sense of self-worth. The more energy you have, the more vigor you have, the more fit you are, the better your body looks, the more confidence you have. Now, I am not a therapist. I am not a mental health professional, but I have a mentality, right? I'm a human just like you. I work with many, 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 many humans. I live with humans. I've been around humans my whole life. What I found is the humans that are more physically active tend to deal with stressful situations better. Not that people that are active don't have stress in their life and not that, not that they're not prone to certain dips in their sense of self and their mental health, of course, we all go through that. But physical activity and exercise and diligence and dedication and working towards a better self helps. That's in my opinion. Having a good community matters. Having quality nutrition matters. Minimizing stressful situation matters. Getting good quality sleep. All of that matters. All of that matters. Best list daily routine for fat loss, 45 minutes of walking first thing in the morning without eating any calories. Black coffee is fine. Strick, what should I do? I'm 5'7", 200, fat like Patty. Grr. What should I do? Your four or 12 week program and why finally need you to get my shit together. Well, I'm here to get your stuff together, no problem. 
I would strongly suggest you go to the dolcediet.com and you choose the 12 week program because we need more than four weeks. Three weeks to shred it is absolutely amazing. If you want to lose 20 pounds as rapidly and healthily as possible, you should definitely consider three weeks to shred it. But three weeks to shred it is a short term jump start to weight loss. The Living Lean program is a lifestyle transformation. On our 12-week Living Lean program, my expectation is to see 40-pound weight reductions on average, 30 to 50 pounds, depending on how much weight you have to lose, how much body mass you have to lose. Now, the majority of people, and let me see if I have this. Um, I don't have it readily in front of me, but maybe I can just sneak this in and pull it up. I don't know if I can share the screen on it. Um, I'm speaking out of turn here, aren't I? I actually just recently ran a very deep analysis on the users of our site, what their results have been, what their engagement has been, what their interaction has been, but really what their starting point has been. Who? Very specifically, I've been very focused on who is yielding the greatest success from our online platform. This is the Dolce Diet, the 12 week program, the three weeks of shredded plan, the living lean program, and the online coaching that we have available as a part of those programs, which is a very special package. What we found the average man who comes through our platform is between 25 and 45 years old. 25 and 45 years old. The highest number. The highest percentage of those 25 to 44-year-old men are over 220 pounds. They choose the Living Lean program, the 12-week program, and rightfully so, because they likely, and they're also at a 30-plus BMI. The majority of the users of our online platform, male and female, are above 25 in their BMI. So they're either overweight to obese, 25 plus. It's like 34% are 30 plus and 32% are 25 plus. Why do I say this? I say this because of the majority of people who go to our site are dealing with a health crisis. They're likely looking at a 40 pound or more weight reduction in order to normalize their life, in order to stave off, off metabolic syndrome, in order to reverse the incidence of all-cause mortality, to simply look down and be able to see their dicks, their dick stem. I don't say that to be crass. I say it because it's real. I'm a real guy, and I have real conversations with real people every day. 75% of the users on our site are men. 25% are women. Of those women, the majority, the, the, the primary demographic of women is 35 to 45. Like 80% of the women on our site are between 35 and 45. Interesting, right? That is the time that's most important, but I will say they are also ladies who are at rather high BMIs. They're about 160 pounds, plus or minus 20, based upon their height, they're over 25 BMI, which puts them in the overweight to obese category. Every single one of these people dramatically transforms their life when they follow the Living Lean program, which is eight weeks of Living Lean and three weeks and four weeks of three weeks to shred it. That's the way the program is set up. So we know very specifically exactly who's signing up. We know exactly what their results are, how long they stay on the site, how they engage with the site. And we constantly update the site to encourage more positive behavior, to modify the recipes, the meal times, 
the the UX, as it's called, the user experience to offer a better system for you to follow effortlessly and seamlessly. That's what we do here. We are a tech team. Before anything else, I run a digital media company. That's what the Dolce Diet and Fitness is. We are a digital media company. I just look like this. And you see these, these people you associate my name with. But we run a digital media company. We have a rather large team of approximately 20 or so now in different capacities, constantly working and building this for you guys. And I go long here to say this because many of you struggle. You do not know what to do. You do not know how to eat. You do not know how to train. You do not know when to eat and when to train, how much to eat, how hard to train. Should you do lists or miss or hit or hurt? Should you bike ride? Should you walk? Should you pre-core? Should you do Zumba? Should you lift weights? Should you do CrossFit or kettlebells or, or Peloton? It's so damn confusing and we sift through all that. My job is to remove all of the white noise and simply show you the evergreen principles. And then you can apply those as they seem fit. When you're constantly being inundated, by all the fitness marketers out there trying to sell you the next shiny object, well, it's not your fault that it's confusing. You need someone in your quarter, and that's, again, what we provide. So if anybody's interested in learning more about that, definitely click the link in my description. Look for the three weeks to shredded link. That'll take you to the site and pick the 12-week program. There's also the online coaching option where you can join the four-week or the 12-week plan, and then you can bring me on once or twice a week to coach you along, answer questions as you go, which is a great resource for people. Declan, what to do if I only have 30 minutes to work out? I would probably alternate one day of low intensity work, which would be simply walking and one day of high intensity calisthenics, light resistance work. I would like body weight work, body weight squats, walking lunges, pull-ups, push-ups, V-ups, planks, um, it would be 30 minutes for me. It'd be five minutes warm up, five minutes cool down, 20 minutes of nonstop. Probably like, uh, you know, I don't know your level, um, but I would probably do like 45 seconds of all out intense effort followed by 15 seconds of a deep breathing rest and right into the next exercise. I would probably pick five exercises or so and I would repeat those four times as hard as I could. That would be something simple for me. And then I, as I got experience, I would start having like one heavy movement inside that complex. That's what I would do. Um, Skeletor, Mike, I bought two of your books way back and I still use recipes from there. Uh, was just wondering how much water should I drink a day? Well, I usually say more. Anytime people ask me how much water should I drink? I say probably more. I've yet to find the person true, like anecdotal for sure. I've yet to find the person in my life who drinks enough water regularly. I usually say more. Have you read Stan Efferson, Efferding's Vertical Diet? And do you think it's a good base for athletic performance and weight loss? Yeah, Stan is awesome. The vertical diet is great. The information Stan puts out is, is a, a high five and a, and a, a bro shake, uh, bro pound. Um, I, I love Stan. He's a good friend. So I am biased, of course, but I'm, I'm biased because I respect him and I dig his work, right? That, that's why that's, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty open and honest guy. Most of the people in the fitness industry are scumbag liars, frauds. Um, I don't want to say almost all, but almost all of those that I've come across, Stan is not Stan stands head and shoulders above these fools. Um, Darren, look at absolutely yoked. Mike, will you be doing the weight cutting course again? Would be very interested. Darren, absolutely. I will. Thank you, by the way. It's funny. I'm getting these nice compliments. I think because I usually don't really dress like this. Um, I'm as I always like point at people like, oh, come on. But like I am in a down phase right now. I'm in a in a 
a deload phase right now. I'm lower on calories. I'm lower on, on weights. I'm not really lifting weights hard right now. I'm doing more mobility work right now. As I had said earlier, I'm gearing up for a hard push now into local summer, as we call it in New Jersey. And then I have a, a pretty cool event coming up in October that I'll tell you guys about later. Um, but you would just ask, so let me explain the weight cutting seminar. The weight cutting course, mastering the weight cut. Yes, we will have a mastering the weight course, mastering the weight cut course in the future. But right now, September 23rd, 24th, and 25th, we are hosting the next Dolce Diet Certification and Fitness Conference. This is a three day, 14 hour event, live and remote directly streamed into your home, to your phone, to your laptop, to your office, wherever you have a Wi-Fi signal, we will be zooming into your home and breaking down exactly how to master nutrition, dietetics, and performance science with a big focus on mastering the weight cut. You can see right here. Bam, the three days of online education topics covered nutrition and dietetics. We have 12 chapters on this that we bust through with you. We then cover mastering the weight cut, the art of motivational inter interviewing, building your brand because this is a fitness conference also for entrepreneurs and small business owners, turning social media into business media, becoming a true fitness millionaire. We're going to have a, 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 a Dolce diet certified millionaire. We have six figure fitness professionals now as certified coaches, which I love. And I can't wait until we have our first ever millionaire because once they, we have that, it's like Roger Bannister breaking that four minute mile or five minute mile. Once we have that, I, I know that same year we'll get three more. The next year we'll get 10 and then it'll just be normal. Um, goal setting versus goal getting internal, external motivation, the five R's of success, and then story time where I have a lot of practical stories that I share during this event that are relevant and pertinent to helping you learn more about fitness, about nutrition, about the practical application of performance science. And I can pull from 30 years of stories of working with the world's greatest athletes. I always like to say I have Petri dishes all around the world. I'm constantly running experiments on. And every Friday night, you can see the results as they step on stage for weigh-ins. So I share so many great stories. Um, if you're interested in learning, mastering the weight cut, we go so much deeper during the DDC weekend because we have so much more time. Mastering the Weight Cut is a three-hour event, and one hour is dedicated to the Q&A. The DDC, it's 14 hours of amazing, intense immersion into nutrition, dietetics, sports science, and all of the business skills that are part and parcel to becoming financially independent. And then the Q&A, I do the Q&As off book for free. I mean, I've, I've spent four hours after an event doing a Q&A. Like if the event was supposed to be over at, at noon or 1230, I was there till five o'clock. My wife's like, are you coming home for dinner? Like I cooked dinner three hours ago. What's going on? I'm like, we got a booked room, packed room, and I'm not leaving. So anyway, you can click the link below if you just to learn more about the Dolce Diet Certification and Fitness Conference. I will say, Tomorrow is the last day. It's a pre-registration. Tomorrow is the last day for the pre-registration price. That is going to go up, and that will go up systematically. Every event we've ever done is sold out. Briefly, before I get back into the questions, every event we've done is sold out. So once we, we there's a certain number of, of pre-registration seats we sell, we'll probably be up. I think we might have even sold those out, but we'll give you guys another day because we always like to end things on a Friday. Um in the pre-reg anyway, as, as the week goes on, then we start just upping it. So it's like, and then it'll go up a couple hundred bucks. And once those seats are filled, boom, then it goes up a couple hundred bucks and then boom. And then we wind up selling out usually a few weeks early and we do not allow people to come in. We've, we've had people offer to pay us full price and extra money. Once we sell out, we sell out because I need the room, the certain size. So it's intimate. 
I want to know every single person. I want to see every single face. I want to have direct conversations with everyone in the room. That's why we don't do a, a 200 person conference, which we probably could. We don't do them that massive. We keep them more small and manageable. Point is, it's going to sell out. The price will go up. The faster you act, the, the better your long-term deal will be for you. And my goal is for you to make back any as make back all the money you spent on this DDC, whatever the registration you lock in at, for you to make that back up within the first month based upon what I teach you and then the business opportunities that we provide for you. Once you become a Dolce Diet certified coach, we give you a turnkey business to start making money off of our brand. We already built the platforms. We have everything built. You just then take it at no additional cost and just go start making money with it. Every single person who has half ass motivation should easily make back every penny that they spent on registration and considerably more. And we have coaches making five figures per month now. That's over $10,000 per month as a Dolce Diet certified coach. Real story, true story. Let that be you. Bruce says, time for Ariana Lipsky to become a ring girl, hot piece of blank, and would be a shame for the UFC to cut her completely. Um, I don't know who she is, Bruce. How about that? I can't, I've, I've heard her name before, but I can't picture her at all. Um, did she have a weight cutting issue? Is why is she going to get cut? Did she have a poor performance? Um, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of, I don't pay attention to a lot of that stuff anymore. Hey, Mike wanted to know when you're dropping the body weight program and squats and steak, Dan, I appreciate that the body weight program will be released on the online platform in September squats and steak will be released. Let's say October 1st. I have it all done. It just sat here. And my, my issue with squats and steak has, has been recently. How should we release it? Should it be a PDF? Should it be an ebook? Should it be a download? Should it be an online program? And I've kind of like, I've, I've wavered back and forth, but I, I have the, the plan now. Squats and steak October 1st, how to gain 20 pounds of muscle and add 200 pounds to your back squat. This is real. This works. It is very hard, but it is very freaking effective. Those who finish squats and steak will become gods amongst mere mortals. And many people who want to finish squats and steak will quit along the way because they don't have the cojones to do so. I've done it twice, by the way, twice. I went halfway through, and this is funny on squats and steak halfway through the workouts really start to scale. I would get anxiety the night before certain workouts because holy shit, the last one was so fucking hard. I finished it. I feel like I finished it. I got every weight on every, every set and every rep. I got it, but God darn, it took me to the brink of my abilities. And then I got a couple days to recover. And then another workout, which is scaled slightly more. I would get anxiety the night before for sure. And then I, I the thing is I was always able to, to finish the workout because of course it's science based, right? It's, it's, it's very analytical. It's very scientific based, but you got to dig deep. If you want to add 20 pounds of muscle tissue and add 200, 200 pounds to your back squat in 12 weeks, you better believe it is intense. The food, the sleep, the exercise is intense, but it will turn you into a God. Strict fit. Awesome. I will be there. Excellent. I, oh, I can't wait. I want, all you guys, I would love for every single person here, if you take the time to hang out here on this channel and get these live streams and watch these little videos, definitely consider joining us September 23rd, 24th, and 25th at this fitness conference. Become a Dolce Diet certified coach simply by participating and leveling up and get this brain dump of information for myself and my team, but just immerse yourself in what we are doing here. Like if you dig this content, you will freaking love, love this event. Um, all right. 
Gabo, Mike, I got two different brands of quick organic oats. One has seven grams of protein. The other has four grams. Should I eat the one with seven or does it really matter? You know, if all things are equal, I would eat the one with more protein personally, but I would look at the fiber. Like what? And I'm wondering why. What's the difference? I would wonder what the difference is. I'd be curious about that. Strict fit. I'm 51, by the way. Thanks. I'm 46, brother. We would be in high school together, most likely. That's the way I look at a lot of ages. Like, would I be, would be in, we'd be in high school together? Probably. And it's like that four to five year um, swing. You know, I was, I was one of the, uh, the younger uh, people in my class. I, I turned 18 spring, leaving my senior year. So like a month or two before I graduated high school, I turned 18. Um, so I was a younger guy. Uh, but yeah, we would have been in high school together, my man. I know there's some people in here are like, holy shit, you guys are old. I'm surprised you're still alive. Dude, let me tell you, I feel better now at 46 than I did at 26 than I did at 16 than I did way better than I did at 36. I'm in the best shape of my life. I feel absolutely incredible. And a lot of that comes with, with wisdom. It comes with money. <laughs> you know, it, I, I definitely being able to eat completely organic foods and, and, you know, getting a massage two to three times a week and, um, you know, just being able to pay for all the, the little quirky things that I need that helps. So as you get older, I might not still have the testosterone levels that I had when I was 25 years old. I might not have the IGF one growth hormone levels that I had when I was 15 year or 18 years old, but money makes up for a lot of that. And so does experience. Like my warm up now is, is 15 to 20 minutes. And it was like that country song. I'm, I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. And that's the way I look at my top sets in the gym. That, that song, actually, hopefully this is a good help. Timestamp this. That song, that motto, that statement. I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. That's my philosophy when I go to the gym, whether I'm in the wrestling room, I'm in the MMA gym, I'm, I'm in a rest boxing club, I'm in the strength gym, I'm, I'm wherever I am. What am I going to focus on today that I'm going to be the best in the room? I'm going to be the best version of me today. Maybe it's in the, the strength gym and it's the overhead press. Maybe today, dude, I've been working so hard. I've been scaling up to hit a all-time PR in the standing overhead military press. Well, I don't care as much what my close grip floor press is going to be that day. I don't care what my um, lying uh, decline dumbbell extensions are going to be that day. I don't care what my wide grip upright row is going to be that way that day. I don't care as much. I'll get the work in. I'll get the volume. I'll get the time under tension. I'll get the reps. But what can I do today? What one thing, one exercise, one set, one rep scheme can I do today and crush it? That's the added, especially as we get past 35, because this many of you, this starts happening at like 30. I know guys in their early 30s that are already falling apart it's from apathy. They just haven't been taking good care of themselves. Guys like me and probably like Strick over here, I've been taking pretty good care of myself most of my life. So good that I've done damage to myself. Squatting six and 700 pounds, deadlifting five and 600 pounds, bent over rowing three and 400 pounds wrestling when I was already a little banged up and sore sparring when I was already a little achy and, and stiff and tight manifesting further problems. Right? So we, we, we learn to temper these things and figure them out because every day we got to make progress every day. Uh, and Strick, I actually, I, I see your photo there, man. Yeah, bro. You're, you're, I see you. You're getting after brother in the orange, orange shirt, my man. Jeremy, I only drink water and black coffee along with a clean Dolce diet. Two and a half weeks in, I occasionally drink a sparkling water. Does that count towards water consumption? No, it doesn't. Don't count it towards water consumption. I'm not going to get mad at you for it, although I would suggest a glass bottle, Pellegrino. That way, if you're going to do a sparkling water, my what I do, and I, I have the glass bottle Pellegrinos in my house when I want a little sparkling water, when I need a little bit of change up from something, usually when I'm dieting extra hard, and I just, I just need a different mouth sensation, right? I just need different mouth pleasure. 
that's a part of it. I, I, we have that. I talk about this in one of my, my next books that you guys will hear about in the, the future. Mouth sensation, mouth pleasure. This matters, right? So what I'll do is I'll have a little Pellegrino in a glass bottle and I'll squeeze some like fresh lemon or fresh lime or, or some sliced strawberries, which is actually incredible. Cucumber. This goes a long, long, long way. Ashley, do you have knowledge on kick ass ups? One that increased speed and strength while I train hard. It's like a, a jingle, a commercial jingle. Um, any kick ass supplements to increase speed and strength while you train hard? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, Ashley, is I'm going to talk about your nutrition. I want to hear more about your nutrition first because a supplement is a supplement to a unbalanced nutrition protocol. That's and that's that's okay because it happens sometimes. So, what specifically are we supplementing and why? Now, you say you want to more speed, more strength, kick ass. Well, speed and strength is going to come from optimal amino acid intake. Speed and strength is going to come from optimal uh, essential fatty acid intake. Speed and strength is going to come from optimal carbohydrate loading. Speed and strength is going to come from optimal hydration. Speed and strength is going to come from optimal electrolyte balance. Speed and strength is going to come from optimal sleep. Speed and strength is going to come from optimal recovery and re recuperation, periodization and tapering of your training sessions. So Ashley, I'm going to have that conversation with you first. Before we then start to look at the l leans and the beta-alanines and the caffeines and the EGCGs and the yohimbines and the L-citrullines and all these other, because all everything I just said probably has maybe a 3% impact as compared to proper nutrition, hydration, recuperation, electrolyte balance. Now, in the links below, you can actually book a one-on-one -on -one consultation, a coaching call with me. If you want to do that, I am happy to go through everything with you, like super deep, super intense, super thorough, like break everything down, get your whole backstory, get your whole lifestyle. What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your desires? What are your pain points? What are your problems? What are your sticking points? Like bang, get all of that. Put it together. What is what you know? What is your budget like? What is your mouth sensation, pleasure, foods that you enjoy? What is your cultural heritage? What did you grow up doing? These are all the conversations I have because these matter, right? Cultural relevance is is utterly important when it comes to nutrient selection. Some people just they give you a template program and they walk away. Like no, 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 that does not work. So. We go, and I, the point is, Ashley, and I'm going long on, on this with you for everyone here. I, we, you have to go deeper than just, can I buy a supplement? Dude, even the strongest steroids on the planet will not work that well for those who have not done the first things first. Um, your podcast with Greg Doucette out. No, I will put it out next week. That was my fault. We got caught up in some other things. I want to really make take the time uh, out of respect to Greg and the size of his channel to make sure it was properly produced. Excuse me. I didn't want to just throw it out there. Um, Skeletor, hey, thanks for taking my question. Mike, I have another one. What are your thoughts on taking a one-hour walk every day? What are the benefits? Peace, joy, love, happiness, sense of self. Um, I know Andrew Huberman talks about this also going for a walk because he's focused more on the neurology and, and, and the, the lateral eye movement. I'm much more focused on your emotional state, well-being. The walks in the morning, my walks in the morning, I solve all the problems in my life during that 45 minutes or so that I'm walking. I'm now at the point I can't walk with a podcast on. I, 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 I don't want that noise in my head. I listen to a few hours of podcasts a day. I'm, I'm always, when I go for those walks now, I want nothing. The only thing I, I have on is my, my eye watch. So I can just chart my heart rate and my time, a few little metrics, how many steps and distance and things like that. Cause I always change my path. Cause I always want new stimuli. Um, 
the added benefit is the lipolysis, the loss of body fat, the enhanced metabolism, the improved circulation, the reduction in LDL, the increase in HDL, the reduction in cholesterol, total cholesterol and triglycerides, the reduction or the, the maintenance of a healthy blood pressure. Like all of this is a benefit, the improvement to the microbiome, to your gut health. All of these are proven, proven positive benefits of walking. For me, I do it for my crazy brain than anything else. And everything else is a benefit to that. Alexander, I remember when nitric oxide would make my muscles hard and make me aggressive. Now it's like, whatever's, well, maybe cycle on cycle off. Maybe you're already maximized. Not sure. Um, interesting. Gab says, do DDC people outside the UFSA have as much success and opportunity? Yes. And I will say in many ways you have more. Why is that? Well, because there's more DDCs in the United States than there are outside the United States. I think we have like, you know, 80% of the DDCs are in the United States, which trust me, there's, that's not a lot because the United States is 350 million people. If I had 1 million DDCs, they could all work with 35 million. Is that good math or bad math? Something like that. They could have more. They would all have, if I had 1 million certified Dolce diet coaches, it's impossible for them to work with the people that are available to them. Those out of the country, this will differentiate you as you become our local ambassador. So when someone is looking for the highest level world-class proven beyond a shadow of a doubt, 100% successful every single time, you are our endorsed local provider of the Dolce Diet Nutrition programs. That's badass. We have, we have coaches outside of the United States who are crushing it, crushing it. Stacking euros, baby. Making it rain. Pounds and pounds and pounds of that quid being floated around. So, yeah, it's awesome. Mike, what are your thoughts on strong lift for someone over 40? Hey, enjoy, have fun. I would be careful, though, because you're really pushing high numbers there. And if you're like me, Big Sherm, my ego is going to get in the way. And I'm probably, I'm probably going to wind up hurting myself in a five by five in time. Now I'll do a five by five focused on more volume, focused on more neuromuscular drive, right? I, I, so I can run through a five by five or like a Wendler five, three, one, or, um, a, a few like mad cows, you know, five by five, or even, you know, uh, Jason Blaha has a, has a good five by five hybrid out there. Those are good programs. And Ripito's got one. I have my own versions of them, but any one of those I would jump into. And I've done these before. I tell you what, usually come like between week three and six, man, my shoulders start to go. My elbows start to inflame. That's that. Now that's me. So I'm at the age and stage of my career that I don't need to be benching 400 plate or, you know, four plates anymore. I, I would get a amazing workout with the 75, 75 pound dumbbells doing 20 plus rep sets. That's pretty much what I do. I stick between the sixties and the eighties now. And all my, the majority of my sets are over 20 reps. Like that's, I'm in that realm. Now a, a few times throughout the year, I will touch some heavier weights, but I usually keep those to three week ramp ups, just three week cycles, touch some heavier weights for a little bit more barbell centric, but primarily I'm not, I'm not trying to push up to that over 40 years old just because the risk of injury is so high. I am injury averse. Big Papa Dolce, do you have a program for upping the squat, bench, and deadlift? What would that program include? You know what? I'm going to... I am going to... Create a group right now in real time with you guys listening. If anybody here is interested in our squats and steak program, and that's exactly what you're talking about right now. Do you have a program for upping the squat bench deadlift? What would that 
program include? What would the fee? Love your content. Keep it up. Send me a text message to this phone number, 732-487-3445, and I will put this in the stream also. So I just put it into the chat. You can see the phone number in there, 732-487-3445. Text me squats and steak. So I know you're looking for that muscle building program, that squat, bench, deadlift, all the primary core lifts. There's actually eight specific lifts that we will be focusing on, um, but it, I'm primarily the squat, the bench, the deadlift, the overhead press. You know, these are the primary movers. I'm more of an overhead press fan than a bench fan. It just it, it's it's uh, carries over. I think greater greater carryover to the skill sets. Um, to playing fields, but anyway, so again, text me. I just put the number in there, 732-487-3445. By the way, you can text me to be added to my private text group. I send tips and, and updates and motivational quotes and things like that. If you want to be a part of our my inner circle, it's a VIP mentorship group. We meet once a week, every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is focused on men and men's health. It is focused on the four pillars of strength, which is fitness, finance, family, and fortress. I have 20 very specific skills that will be learned, will be covered under each of those four pillars. It is a comprehensive course. It is a mentorship group. This is the, the strong men of the inner circle VIP group. You can text me that also VIP or, or inner circle. And just let me, you can text me anything and, and just let me know. I'm the only one who gets it. My interns, my, my assistant doesn't do it. I answer it. I read it. It might take me a day or two to get back to you because we have over a thousand people inside these groups now. But I answer every single one. And this is my way to just provide greater value to you. There's never a purchase necessary for any of this. Some things to join into a certain group or a program, there might be a little fee associated with that. But all the free outgoing content is 100% value-based. It is me sharing my thoughts, sharing my opinion, sharing a new workout, breaking down a study, setting a motivational quote, reminders for the weekend. That's what it is. Wonder Boy, does three weeks of shredded consider budgetary limits? I could afford three weeks of shredded, but I'm afraid I won't be able to afford my personal menu. Is it possible to input food that's available? Absolutely. You can, and we've actually done this before when we wrote the college diet guide, you can follow three weeks to shredded on less than $50 per week. Now, some food you're going you're gonna to buy off of Amazon, some food you're going to get at Target or Costco or Walmart. Most of the food you actually will. Some food you just won't buy the organic option, and that's fine. Work with what you have where you are is what we say. You don't have to go to Whole Foods every other day like I do, yet work with what you have where you are. There should be, there's no budgetary requirement to three weeks to shred it. In fact, you will be shocked at how simple the foods are. It's all foods that you know. It's all foods you probably already have in your house. It's the way we blend these foods, the way we pair these foods, the times with which we tell you to eat these foods, but also it is the calorie cycle, the carb cycle. The ingredients change every so slightly, every single day, up and down just a little bit. So it's this, this we call, it's a concurrent calorie and carbohydrate cycle where protein stays relatively static. But the carbs and the calories keep waving up and down so we can keep pulling more and more and more body fat off you while giving you enough glycogen to perform all the activities necessary to stimulate more body fat loss. Hopefully that helps. Wonder Boy, will you still have an online DDC next year? I'm not sure. We might be fully in-house again next year. I'm not sure. If you have the opportunity to join us this September for the upcoming Dolce Diet Certification and Fitness Conference live and remote to your home via Zoom, you want to jump on and become a Dolce Diet Certified Coach, take part in this three-day, 14-hour, totally remote 
event. Learn from the leader, the global leader in weight management and performance nutrition. Plus, we will teach you how to build your business, how to build a brand, how to manage cash flow, how to think like an entrepreneur and create financial independence, which is very rare for many people. That is a big part of the fitness conference side of this educational weekend. Go to DolceDietShop.com. Click the link below this video. Go to the site. Learn more. You can, you can break your payments up if necessary via shop pay. You can break those payments up if you need to. And if you need an even bigger payment program, simply send us an email to support at the Dolce Diet.com. We have never declined any reasonable payment schedule. Never. Any reasonable payment schedule, we have never declined because everybody has a different lifestyle. Of course, if you can sign up for it, pay the fee, boom, done, done. Awesome. You do the shop pay, break it up over the next eight weeks or so, I think it is. I think you make a smaller payment every two weeks. Awesome. We need something a little more protracted. Contact the team. Awesome. Whatever we can do to help you level up, because within the first month, you should be able to have all that money already made back. If you listen to half of what I tell you, the whole goal is to get you paid to relieve, relieve the thought of financial trouble so you can pursue your passion of helping change people's lives. That's the whole goal here. Um, Brian, coach, what is good after adult time snack? Just something I'm starving. What is Dolce approve? Well, I mean, it depends on how much, how many carbohydrates you are expending. Um, you might want to have a little Dolce way uh, just there and available. Get those amino acids back in your system, rapidly digested into the bloodstream in eight minutes. That might be a good thought. Maybe like a, just a piece of fruit, like an apple, honestly. Get a little bit of sugar back in you, an apple, a little bit of almond butter. That's always a great one. If, if you're like, you know, that's like, hey, maybe tonight's the night. Maybe you want to just like leave out some of dinner. So it's kind of like already room temperature just sitting on the counter. So when, you know, when adult time is over after, you know, like four hours or, you know, however long your adult time takes or, <laughs> right? It's time for another meal anyway. And you just go and you, you, you stick to your protocol. <laughs> that's, that's funny, man. Uh, Big Papa, how would this work for people outside the U.S.? Exactly the way it works for people inside the U.S. This is a live, remote stream directly to you, wherever you have internet connection. Some people, they join on on their phones. Some people are literally at work with their headphones in. Some people have their home offices and gym set up. Some teams... They a few people all get together. You, you have to let me know in advance. We do offer group discounts and they will live stream it to we've had entire fitness centers. All the coaches got certified with us all like live stream. Um, so we, we've had seen just tons of great events. So it's easy live stream. And then we actually have a private group where each module, each chapter will be hosted. It's, it's all recorded. And then those recordings will then be uploaded to the private coaching site. So if you miss something, you had some people, they got, they get out of work late. They got a, their kid walks in the room. They got to go to the bathroom. You don't, you won't miss anything because we record it and then we host it into the private coaching group. So then you have access to that um, moving forward. Super, super easy. We have, we have over a hundred. I definitely over. I forget how many now. Like 123, if I remember correctly. Let's we'll say over a hundred coaches outside of the United States. Top view says, Do you think Sugar Sean O'Malley is more disciplined than Patty the Batty? And is that a big money fight in the future once Sean goes up to 55? Um, I don't know either gentleman personally. But I will say Sean O'Malley does a better job keeping closer to his weight class. Sean O'Malley, from what I know behind the scenes, is a hard training dude. Don't let the whole, you know, funk fro fool you. Sean O'Malley's a gym rat. Don't let the persona fool you. 
So I would probably say O'Malley is likely more disciplined in his offseason than Patty seems to be. Now, Patty trains hard. He trains with my buddy J Flo, Justin Flores down in San Diego. They're savages down there. Patty's a hard training dude, also. But, you know, you only train two hours a day, three hours a day. There's another 20, 22 hours left. I think Sean probably does a little bit better job staying on point. Wonder Boy, thanks, Coach. Um, I'll ask my dad if we could somehow get into the DDC this September, but I'm still hoping and praying you'll have them online next year. Bird in the hand, my friend. Who knows what's going to happen next year? Who knows what's going to happen next year? But all certified DDCs will be able to attend future events, especially our in-person events at a, a, a fraction of the cost. It'll be damn near free. So keep that in mind. So once, once you are a DDC, you are a part of the inside crew, my man. You have carte blanche, open door. You're in New Jersey. Come on by. Let's work out together. Let's go grab food together. Like if I'm if we're holding an event, the, the DDCs are the first ones to know about it. Brian, yeah, you are. Make the cocoa. <laughs> I'm chopping wood, my brother. I love it. I uh, appreciate you, Brian. Um, who wins the main event Saturday? You know, it's hard to bet against Usman. Usman's wrestling is so good. But I'm going to go with Leon Edwards. Why? Well, because everyone else is going with Usman. Leon Edwards can win. And I see this all, all, all the time. Young, hungry fighter doesn't quite seem to have the outward skill set to beat a reigning champion. The reigning champion thinks that all through camp. The young fighter is willing to die to prove he belongs to be there. And he goes out there and makes it look easy. So I'm going to say Leon Edwards. Now, I like Usman. I think he's a great champion. He's a great athlete. And on paper, I think Usman is, is by far the favorite. And I, I agree. He, he should be the favorite for sure. But I'm going to say Leon Edwards. I'm going to train. Thank you for your time. Absolutely. Thank you for being here, uh, Leon. Really, Yeah, and, uh, you know, for the reasons that I just said. Coach, you talked about Connor's mentality changed before his peak. Can you explain? Yes. So Brian watched my previous video. Go back and watch the video I put out earlier today on Patty Pimblett and Dana White. Um, where I, it was a two part series simply because one part got uploaded first. I wanted them both to come out at the, at the same time, but part one, part two, you can watch part two. Cause that has part one included in it. You can skip ahead if, if you've already seen it. Point is I said, Patty, unfortunately, and Dana White also has some clips from Dana White who agrees with exactly what I'm saying. Patty Pimblett is a great, is, is a, a, is a great fighter. Will he be a UFC champion? Will he be a top five, top three, top contender champion? Well, fuck, who knows? Nobody knows. He's only fought three times in the UFC, and he's fought nobody anybody remembers. Not that the guys he fought were bad fighters. They were great fighters in their own right. But they were, they were top 20 guys, outside the top 20 guys, no top 10 guys. So we don't know how Patty's going to look. Against a Drew Dover, let's say. That's a good-looking fight. How is Patty going to look against a guy like that? We don't know. Maybe Patty runs through him. Man, I've never seen Drew get run through before. And I'm just saying a guy like that, I don't even know. I don't think Dover's even in the top 10. Maybe he is, and I apologize. I'm not really up on the rankings right now. My point is, the ego usually peaks, especially with these, I work, I've been working with pro athletes fuck, since the nineties, since the nineties, I've been around pro athletes, working with pro athletes in all sports from the WWE days. The ego peaks first. And oftentimes the ego peaks before the athlete athletically peaks because the athlete typically doesn't peak athletically until their early mid thirties, 32 to 36. That's about the prime 
of the average male athlete, especially in combat sports. And you get these guys like Patty who's whittling down his athletic prime because he's getting all the accolades, all the fanfare. He's becoming Patty the Fatty. He's playing up that role. He's having cameras follow him around, and he's gorging himself more often with more food. He's now the heaviest that he's ever been. The last camp, he started the heaviest that he's ever been. Each time he does this, he gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, look at John Jones, what happened. John's ego peaked long before his athleticism. John Jones has lost tens of millions of dollars due to his outside of the octagon issues. Conor McGregor has lost probably hundreds of millions of dollars due to his, his outside of the octagon issues. If these individuals took more of a George St. Pierre approach, keep their nose down, focus on their craft, have their small pleasures in life, grind away, during this arc, it's, it's a, I'm old enough to know. I'm 46. I am old enough to remember all these little arcs I've had in my life, right? Because things come and go. They come and go. They come and go. They come and go. Now this is coming here for Patty, and he's already in the middle of it, and he's already ruining the back end. He's burning that candle too soon. That happened with Connor, in my opinion. The ego, the money, the fame, the, the, the narcissism. It's hard to, I don't even blame these guys. And I'm not being a dickhead here. I'm not blaming these guys. It's a rare thing for an athlete to have that sense of self and will and discipline to temper the ego for the future good of self. It's a hard thing. All right, guys, gals, I appreciate you all being here. It is late. It's late. It's almost 7.30 here. I got to get out of here. I got dinner waiting for me that my wife cooked. Yes, right. That's right. My loving wife will have a meal waiting for me when I come home. The house will be perfectly clean when I come home. Now, is that sexist to say that? No, it's not. It's because we are a team. I provide very specific things for her, for the family. I do so many things and she does all these other things. It is a shared services agreement that we all should have by the way. So I appreciate you guys. Click the links below. Learn more about this. Get certified September 23rd, 24th, 25th. Join me and my team for three days, 14 hours, and become a Dolce Diet certified coach. Attend our fitness conference. Level up and be the very best version of yourself. Thank you guys for being here, for hanging out. This is always fun. And until next